So hello and welcome everyone. My name is Jessica. I am a advisor at Mitchell Community College and I am facilitating today's webinar with Barton College. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. I just wanna say welcome to the virtual college exploration for all North Carolina students sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. So again, just thank you all for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. Um, you can click on the Q&A button on your screen um, to answer questions. Um, you can type them and our presenters will be able to see them at any time. Your camera and your microphone are turned off so the panelists cannot see you or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions that are happening. So be sure to check out the full schedule at CACRAO.org. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, which again is CARAO.org. And so now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters at Barton. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Barton. My name is Jill Hilliard. I am here with my coworker Addison Meinhardt. She is helping me doing the screen um, while I'm able to chat with you. Um, so I am the Associate Director for Transfer Admissions here at Barton. And um, we're so glad that you're joining us today. We want this to be an informational session for you. We want you to learn as much as you can about Barton and certainly get all of your questions answered. I am, am the only one in the office that works with transfer students. So I am the one that works with you through the application stage, all the way to you attending orientation here as a student. So again, thank you so much for joining us. So we'll get started. Um, hopefully you've heard of Barton, but in the event that you have not, um, I do need to tell you a little bit about Barton. We are a four year private liberal arts institution. We are located here in Wilson, North Carolina, which is actually around 40 miles east of Raleigh. So that gives you a little bit of background um, as to where we are. Um, and what we are a little bit about is that we, um, again, are very small. So, um, we are able to cater to all of our students with faculty, um, having a one-on-one -on -one conversations and um, in the classroom. Um, so next slide, we'll, we'll just jump in. So um, quick facts about Barton is that Blue is our mascot and he is a bulldog. Um, again, like I mentioned before, we are in Wilson, North Carolina. Um, the great thing about Barton is that our average class size is around 16. So you do actually get more of that intimate one-on-one -on -one, um, relationships with your faculty here at Barton. Our enrollment is around 1,100. Um, so again, we're small. Um, and the student faculty ratio is 11 to one. Um, so there are also over 50 major minors and concentrations. So just to tell you a little bit um, about Kevin Pennington, this is Dr. Pennington. He is the Dean of our School of Sciences. He is also our Associate Provost and he um, has a message for you. So it seems as though we have, are we having technical difficulties? We're gonna try it again. I apologize everyone. Seems like we're having technical difficulties, so we will just continue forward. Okay. All right, so I'll give you a little bit of background of what that message was about. 
Um, Dr. Pennington here within our office, within our, here at Barton, um, he is, like I mentioned, the Dean of our Sciences Department and our Assistant Provost. He works, um, a little bit about what that message was, was that he was talking about um, the things that he loved about working with transfer students. And one of those is um, he gave several situations with students, whether they're interested in exercise science or whether they're interested in education or whether they're interested in something within the science field and how you get that hands-on attention and approach. Um, he also mentioned in that video that um, how he loved to advise transfer students. Um, he loved that one-on-one -on -one they're um, experienced. They've had college in the past. They sort of have a clear understanding of what they're wanting to do. And so that's what that video was about is how it gives him pleasure in working with transfer students, um, giving them timelines on when they're gonna graduate and that sort of thing. So moving along, um, here at Barton, hopefully at some point you, you now, by now, you might would have an idea of what you wanted to do um, or what you wanted to study. So here at Barton, we have lots of schools and departments. Um, obviously, within all of these schools and departments, they branch out into particular areas. And we'll move along. So here at Barton, um, with all of these academic programs within all of those uh, schools, here are um, the top four majors that we offer here. Although we do offer, like I said before, over 50 majors, um, but these are the top four, nursing, business, biology, or exercise science. Um, within all of these majors, you do have hands-on experience. Um, the classes are taught by faculty who have extensive experience in their field of study. And again, you're gonna get that personal attention here at Barton for sure. This is just a slide of all of our undergraduate programs. The bold are again, the top four, but if you wanted, if you have your cell phone um, near you, or if you're not, if you're viewing this on your PC, maybe take your cell phone out, take a picture of this. You certainly can view all of these on our website as well. Um, but you can tell that here at Barton, we have a wide variety of different majors. Um, I'm sure there's something here that will be able, that you might would be interested in. And here at Barton, um, we are a part of the comprehensive articulation agreement with North Carolina. And so what this means is that we are going to guarantee to you that all of your courses, let's say you're on an AA or an AS path, all of your courses are going to transfer in um, and, and more than likely apply all to our humanities curriculum core requirements, um, the gen ed core requirements. Um, so if you are transferring or looking to transfer from a community college, you can certainly feel comfortable in all of your credits transferring in with flying colors. Um, with, as long as you're on an AA or an AS path. Now certainly students that are on an AAS path and applied science, um, then we, we look at those credits um, a little more with detail. Um, it may be that we would need a course syllabus or a course description for some of those courses that you've taken if you're on an AAS path, but certainly the AA and the AS, the Associate of Arts and the Associate of Science, all of those credits are gonna transfer in beautifully. So here at Barton, um, we also offer all of our students um, academic resources and different opportunities for students to take advantage of. There are two buildings here on campus. Um, the Campion Center here, in that building, we host the Reagan Writing Center. So the Reagan Writing Center is there for you. Um, it is for you to go to to get assistance with a paper that you may be writing. Um, and so it's, it's a great um, resource for you to use uh, to get additional help. So we have it with the Writing Center. We also have it with Quantitative Literacy. 
if you're struggling in math or you just need a little additional assistance with that, then certainly you can come to the Campion Center and get all of those needs met. And the same goes for your oral communication. The other building I was speaking of is, ha is Hackney Library. Um, here within our library, in addition to the full reference desk and all of the um, books that you would may need to check out or to study while you're planning for your classes. Um, but here in the library, we also offer, there's a cafe and a study space, individual private study rooms. And um, here within our library, there's also the academic and career planning office is hosted within this building. Um, so they're a great outlet for students um, for additional services that we offer here on campus. Another opportunity for students um, here at Barton is to study abroad. So here um, at Barton, it is a planned trip um, that you can plan through our, there are four different um, avenues here through the Central Colleges Learning Program, Charles University in Prague, or the International Studies Abroad, or a semester at sea. Um, so we do have a staff member within our academic and career planning that can assist you if you're interested in wanting to spend a semester abroad. So at Barton, um, obviously athletics are a big deal here. We are an NCAA Division II um, institution. And so here on this slide, it does list all of our sports that for men and women that are offered here. Um, obviously coaches are out recruiting for their particular sport. Um, here in the admissions office, we work very closely with the coaches. Uh, we know what students they're out recruiting or what athletes they're out recruiting. Um, so we do communicate very well with the, our coaches. Um, if for whatever reason, by chance, you are interested in a sport that we offer here, it may be in your best interest to reach out to the coach. Um, just quickly send them an email, reach out to them, express your interest. Um, it may be that the coach would uh, request for you to send videos of your um, sport that you're playing. They may even visit you to see you play your sport. But these are, um, these are all of the, the athletes the athletics that we offer for men and women here at Barton. So at Barton, we also offer specific co-curricular programs. Um, these have proven to be very successful for us and students really appreciate being able to focus on um, things that they're interested in. So um, for example, artwork. Um, for a student who's interested in transferring to Barton and they're interested in anything within our art department, then you could apply for artworks. Um, and so it goes down the line also with esports. Um, there are some scholarships that are available to, to you through the esports cohort. Um, we also have HERO. HERO is for students that are interested in any program such as humanities, English, or religion. Um, so if you're interested in wanting to major in any of those, then I certainly would suggest you um, apply for the HERO. Um, here at Barton, we do offer a pet band as well. We have um, a new sport here on our campus, and that is um, football. And so with football, we definitely needed the pet band. So we are also um, encouraging students that if they played um, an instrument, that that may be something that they are interested in doing is being a part of our pet band. Phi Beta Lambda, um, if you're interested in business, this is certainly um, an avenue for you to do. And then we also are um, offering an ROTC program. And for right now, it is just Air Force, but we are working on Army and the others, hopefully soon to follow Air Force. So, Let's talk a little bit about admissions. Um, as I said earlier in this presentation, I am the one who works with you from the beginning all the way up until enrollment. So um, if you have your phone available again, please take a snapshot of this. Um, this is actually our QR code that leads you straight into our application 
Um, but here at Barton, our application is free. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to submit the application. So I highly encourage you, if you're interested in Barton, to definitely submit the application. At this point, I am accepting applications for the spring semester, which is right around the corner, beginning in January. And we are also accepting applications for the fall of 2021. So submit your application, that is free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, once you apply, that's gonna generate a lot of conversation with you and I. You're gonna start receiving phone calls and emails. Um, you're also going to get um, additional invitations to our open houses and et cetera. Um, so once you apply, the next thing I'm gonna be requesting for you, from you are your official college transcripts. So those transcripts must come from every college that you've attended since high school. Um, we request those because we wanna bring in all the credits that you've earned from every college you've attended. So if you've only attended one community college, then obviously that's the only transcript we're gonna need. But if you have attended additional colleges since your high school, please know that we will need all official from every college you've attended. It's very easy to do. You just contact the registrar's office at those previous institutions and have them submit um, those official documents to us. If you send them to us um, electronically, then those are unofficial. So it, they need to come from the institution. If you have hard copies either at home um, or you can have them requested from the school to be sent to us as a hard copy, just do not open it. Um, if it's been opened, it will be unofficial. So we need um, the official transcripts from all colleges that you have attended. Um, next slide. So once I receive all of your transcripts, at that point, I'm gonna be working towards getting you accepted. So here at Barton, the accepted stage um, also prompts our financial aid office to process your financial aid award package. So if for those of you out there, I'm sure you're familiar with the FAFSA. Um, that's very important here at Barton. We do re request that all students submit a FAFSA. Um, you never know what you're fully going to qualify for, whether it be Pell Grant or your loan eligibility or any other institutional funds. It may be merits merit-based scholarships, all of those are gonna appear on this award package for you. Um, again, financial aid office will be prompted to process this award package for you based on your FAFSA. So it's never too soon to go ahead and submit your FAFSA. If you're interested in transferring for this spring semester starting in January, then you just go back in your current FAFSA for the 2021 year and add Barton's code. The code is listed here, 002908. Um, and then once um, you've submitted that FAFSA um, for the spring, our financial aid will process that for you. Um, if you're interested in the fall, it's certainly gonna be the 21-22 FAFSA. Um, so again, you know, Barton can provide you with all that you qualify for based on you submitting that FAFSA and adding Barton's code. So here at Barton, um, upon acceptance, um, and that's based on your transcripts, I am gonna be the one awarding you merit-based scholarships. So um, starting with the merit-based scholarships, if your cumulative GPA is at a 3.2 or higher, then you're gonna receive the Transfer High Honors Merit-Based Scholarship. That is worth $12,000 these are renewable scholarships to you throughout the duration of your time um, here at Barton. If you are receiving that transfer high honor scholarship with a 3.2 or greater, my next question to you is gonna be, are you a PTK member? Um, because you, if you are a Phi Theta Kappa member, that is also worth an additional $2,000 in a merit-based scholarship. So I will again be awarding that to you um, upon acceptance. Um, if you are a member of that, the only thing I request is that you scan a copy of your certificate, um, send that over to me via email and I will award you that additional scholarship. If your GPA is a 2.85, at that point you're gonna qualify for our transfer honors 
that is worth $10,000. So it goes in a tier. So if it's a 3.2, it's the transfer high honors. From a 2.85 up to the 3.2, that's $10,000. And at a 2.5, um, that is worth $9,000 at our transfer incentive scholarship. All students do qualify for the $5,000 transfer opportunity grant, even if you do not have um, the 2.5. So at Barton, I am eligible to accept you with as little as a 2.0, but with a 2.5 or greater is when you're gonna qualify for merit-based scholarships. So the 2.0 is the bare minimum. Um, and the other bare minimum for your credit hours is 12. So we do require that you have 12 credits already elsewhere. Um, you do not have to have an associate's degree to transfer to Barton. However, some students choose to do so. Um, that is certainly a, a personal preference, um, but I can accept you with 12 and a minimum of a 2.0 GPA. Here at Barton, um, we love for our students to visit. We encourage them, um, you to visit. Um, we offer lots of different opportunities for you to do so. Uh, we offer open houses. We offer virtual uh, um, tours um, during the week, twice a week. And then we also offer individual visits. So you're welcome to sign up for any of those. In fact, we encourage you to do so. If you do attend an open house, in fact, for transfer open house, the next is going to be on November the 14th. I think it's the 14th on a Saturday. Um, so all you need to do to register for that event is go log into our website at www.barton.edu backslash visit. And then you can click on the November date for our transfer open house if you're interested in doing that. The differences with our visits is that if you attend an open house, it's a little more advanced. You actually get to go off within your area of study for an hour and interact with faculty there and ask them all of the questions that you may have. Um, you get a tour of campus. You certainly get to, to meet other staff that are here on campus and that's with an open house. If you do decide to do a virtual tour, then certainly um, I'll be able to chat with you if, you're, if you would like to, um, but then you'll get the tour of campus or if you come for a face-to-face -face individual visit, um, I'll also get the chance to meet with you and you'll get to go off on a tour with one of our ambassadors. Um, so we definitely encourage you to visit um, and we hope that you definitely will do so. Uh, one other thing I will let you know is that um, if you have any questions about any of this that I've gone over, if you have questions about transcripts or what courses will transfer or when should, she, should you submit your transcripts, um, please feel free to, to type those questions in, in the chat box, and I'll be more than happy to answer those. If you'd like to get in touch with me, um, this is my picture. And uh, again, this is, I'm the Associate Director for Transfer Admissions, um, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. You can contact me this is my office number at 252-399-6321, or you can reach me at my email. Education takes place, of course, in the classroom. You know, education takes place, of course, in the classroom when there are lectures and information that's shared, but the most important thing that happens on our campus um, is when our faculty and our students connect. Barton Bold is seeing what needs to be done and getting it done. Being Barton Bold is being excited. I, I think every day coming into the classroom and, and talking to the students, uh, talking to them about their career choices and, and their next step, that's exciting. We do have really accomplished faculty at Barton College. It's one of the things that makes me most proud as the Vice President for Academic Affairs. The reason I decided to come to Barton is the people. And this is a unique opportunity to start football from scratch. Students understand that this campus would be non-existent without them. I love Barton College because I love the people. I love the atmosphere and I love our community. 
Barton makes me really feel at home. When I think about Barton College, I think about a strong community of people working towards a common goal of becoming better people. I love the fact that Barton is such a community, that the students are so amazing and the professors are so personable. Learn by doing, and uh, that's one thing I think that Barton really stands above the rest. This is a home away from home, a safe sanctuary to expand one's mind, a place to nurture one's passions, a place to find fulfillment for one's aspirations. This is what makes Barton special. Why would I invest my time in Barton? For the very same reasons. It is a nurturing place where young minds can find fulfillment. Awesome. So um, just wanted to thank you for joining us and I'm definitely available. Um, we've got some time. So if you do have questions, I'm more than happy to answer those for you. And if we don't have any questions, um, certainly you can reach me at this information here. Please feel free to do so. Uh, my job is to help make this transition. If you're interested in Barton, uh, my job is truly to work with you one-on-one -on -one to make this transition as smooth as possible. Um, it truly is an easy thing and I will be there for you every step of the way to let you know the next steps, what we may be missing, um, all the way up until enrollment. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this session. Uh, again, I am available. Thank you so very much for attending. All right, thank you so much, Jill and Barton for all of the great information. Um, again, if anyone has any questions, you're welcome to type them into the Q&A box um, down at the bottom. Um, And if there aren't any questions, I'd just like to say again, thank you so much for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. And we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at CACRAO.org. And in about a week, you'll be able to find the session's recording, as well as all of the other session recordings at CACRAO.org. And thank you so much again for joining us, and we hope that you have a great day.